four brothers and a sister, and this is where we grew up. Bernard Meyer's roots are in Cade's Cove. It doesn't look like it did back when I was a kid. He's the last branch on a family tree that farmed this valley for generations. It's kind of bittersweet to come back here. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park took the Myers' property and their house on the hill in the 1940s. I'm standing in the front yard right now. <laughs> the house is gone, but a family heirloom still stands tall. There she be. A living memorial for a date that lives in infamy. It says Pearl Harbor on that side. Dad kept up with the world news through a little battery-powered radio. From the NBC newsroom in New York, the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor. At I was really young. I was five years old, but I knew that it uh, affected my daddy. He had two sons that were draft age. It was a somber situation, really, because he knew what was coming. The attack on Pearl Harbor killed 2,400 people, brought a world war to families in this isolated valley, and moved Goldman Myers to mark the mournful moment. I remember him going and getting the tree. It was back here on the mountain. It was just a little old sapling, pulled it up. The tree was about the size of maybe of this limb and brought it here and placed that old ram around it, a tire rim, keep us from running the lawnmower over it. And Goldman Myers spoke a single sentence to sum up the significance of the new sapling in his front yard. We'll remember this forever. And he was a patriot. He was a farmer and he planted that tree knowing that it would grow. And he was right, the tree would grow. And both of Bernard's older brothers would leave the farm to fight overseas. Both survived the war, but their father did not. April of 1945, and he had a heart attack and died. A time for hard. We moved out of here in 1945. And their old farm kept growing into one of the most popular and picturesque settings in the Smokies. And that old sweet gum tree on the hill kept growing too. But you can see what the tree has done to it. It's amazing to see it. And in the 1970s, Bernard tagged the tree so his grandchildren could locate this link to their past. It says Goldman Myers transplanted this tree December 7, 1941. And when I put the chain around it, I had no idea that anyone would ever find it and look at it. The tree has really grown. Somehow or another, it struck a chord with people. I think they think in Cage Cove, there's a Pearl Harbor tree. <laughs> Who'd ever thunk it? <laughs> and this reminder rooted in history lives on and fulfills Goldman Myers' promise. I think that people will remember it. We'll remember this forever. In Cades Cove, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News.